Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Hard drive. Down by the Rio Grande. You know, endless highways and wide open spaces. By the way, this is not a bashing video. This is an educational video. Alright, let's get started. Oh, let's see. Now let me read this. Name, blah, 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 phone, blah, blah, address, blah, 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 blah. Striker 955, serial number 955071740, and then there's four more numbers. Radio built by blah blah, truck shop, buffer filter upgrades, uh, blah blah, power tune, IF filter change, Palomar Max Mod. Radio came to me with two broken off screws. Radio seems to have backward swing. Power set too high. I need you to go over the radio and do what uh, you do. Also, maybe a SL41 mic or whatever works best. Thank you. All right. All, right. All in plain sight. That's a 100. I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera. All righty then. 27, 205, 15, 30 kilohertz. I will get a camera that mounts up here, flips down, out of the way, and it's going to be a while. You know, it'll take up the top part of the screen. It's going to be kind of cool. All right. You know, it looks kind of like factory out of the box, but less. Yeah, let's, use, let's zoom in there a little bit. Take a closer look. See the distortion? Well, you can see it there. We'll go a little deeper. We're just going to use the oscilloscope right now. That's the power wide open. Power all the way down. Wide open. Alright, I did another video on this in the past. And now we're up close and personal, as you can see. The other ones have been around 50% distortion. It was massive distortion or modulation. But as you see, it's only got one, now they got two hands type of thing. Watch it right there. Watch the peaks and keep your eyes focused right there. If there was a wave in the water, it wouldn't be possible, would it? Unless there was some wind or something going on. But it's major distortion, which you can see in the spectrum analyzer also, which is lost power. So let me turn the power down. You can really see it there. Plus it's grossly undermodulated. Right, let's back out a little bit. Oops. The other way, stupid. All right, there we are again. Everything really should be in there. I'm working on better videos. Stay tuned in. Got some plans. Make sure that we're on the right channel and all the dials are straight up and down. Power's always all the way down. Let's turn it back down again. That's wide open. And again, even though this one's putting out a little bit less than normal, see the meter? I know the last video I tried to show this, it was pretty hard to see. There's the carrier, modulated carrier. It doesn't, if you start seeing them going over to 80, I mean, it's clipped, snipped, and walking around with his pants down by his butt cheeks. Now, for sideband, it does look as if it was, you know, the limits were adjusted. But, old trusty, I'm just gonna talk right into the mic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I have the volts per division pumped up, so watch the meter. I'll just talk normal, okay? I mean, it's not putting out any power, hardly at all. One, two, three, four, five. 
six and I'm talking up against the microphone. I don't know if you see that or not. Try to get in there. I'm right in it. The mic gains wide open. You know, in DX land, I'm, I'll be on sideband more in the future, but people, oh, man, that audio, blah, 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 blah. Well, here, check this out. Power wide open. Let's turn this up a little bit more so you can see it. One, two, three, four, five. Audio! If I yell, it'll get up in there, okay? But who always wants to talk like this, all right? Nobody that I know of. But here on the S's and the T's. Or, see what I'm talking about? If you're just talking, you can't see it until it's pointed out to you. Also, like on sideband, it does appear that someone's turned the uh, internal mic gain wide open. But there's more to that. It's not just the sensitivity. It has a frequency response also. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six. Audio, one, two. What's it sound like? Audio, one, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six, seven, seven, four, four. And it might squeal a little bit. I can't help that. For you to be able to hear it. And my wonderful noise outside. Four four six four four seven 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 eight nine ten one two three four five audio. It's pretty darn muddy, you know what I mean? But it's working. It does work. It's making the meter move. It is. I'm not seeing no hundred watts though. No, I'm not. All right, let's see if this thing's on freak. So that's AM, so both upper and lower sideband are definitely going to be off frequency. Little clarifier. See? Maybe someone's test equipment's way off frequency. Can we focus there? Alright. So that's that part. Well, this video might get long, so there might be a part two to this also. All right, so let's go to the receiver. start doing it this way that's why I have done all this work because I know that noise is gonna drive you nuts because it surely drives me nuts so anyways there we go see it and uh, let me go like this real quick can you see all that all right The S meter is reading low for some reason. It's like an 8, not a 9. You can see it. Alright, so let's go. Oh, wait a minute, wait, wait, I gotta. While, while it's already set here at 67 and 97% modulation, like you just seen, I forgot where I had it set. Now let's uh, go to 21. Hey, what's with the bleed over? Let's uh, turn it down to 95. Hmm. More bleed over than normal. Now let's see uh, how sensitive it might be. So let's go back to 30% of modulation. On AF generator number one, go over here to 67. We gotta go back to channel 20. 
over there. Like I said, I'm going to get a camera. Let me turn this light off so you can see better. That might be better for you. See, when I do that, then I can't even see my own camera. You want to see everything? Tilt it up some more. I should be able to get a camera to mount up here. Something that's real small that flips down. It's not in my line of view. I like to see up. And that'll be like the top part of the view of the, the video. Alright, so let's back on out again. Wrong backwards. Alright, now let's uh, start lowering this. We've already got some noise at 100 in there. You can see the noise in it. And we're down, let's see, at 103, we're at 17, 106, we're at 14, that's 109 actually, 113, 110, 12, and we're flickering 11 to 111, a little bit lower, 112 and it's reading 10. But you'll also see a lot of noise in there. So right about there, if you just look at it instead of listening to it, I'm flickering back and forth trying to find that spot where there's a differ differentiation between noise and tone. You're looking at 120. Okay. Alright, then we got that all covered. Let's uh, get this thing open. Take a look around. I haven't opened up a radio like this with the camera sitting here. But let's take a look. Oh, and uh, these like busted off screws. You don't use drills like this. Alright? You don't do it. I mean, you got to put the robo grip on it to stop it. Super high RPM, all this weight, terrific force, just snaps the heads right off. Use an itty bitty little thing like this. See, all nice adjustable. Let's get this one off. Pretty destroyed now. Put that with another collection. I mean, these screws look pretty well. Boogered up, actually. I guess some guys get in a hurry, you know. Rip them in there and pop the heads off. Some guys cross through them, that makes it a real pain. Alright, let's see if I can't focus on all this stuff. Supposedly has the Max Mod in it. Soldering doesn't look bad. Looks okay. I don't see any junk in it or nothing. Like bits and pieces or garbage from the bench. On this side. One of the tricks is when you take that off. 
you just look at the pan. Even though it's upside down, but you can still tell. Alright, now let's look around here. I'll take my bifocals off here. I just let you guys look around. Now this, this is not factory, okay? By no means, that's ridiculous. And number two ridiculous, now I've got a bird cage of probably 10,000 mod kits, swing kits, screwball shit like this. You've probably seen a picture of it. This in a truck, I bet if I held this in the air and I shook this thing, I can make that move. The way that pen is making it move. You put this in a truck, it's just a matter of time that that breaks off. One leg, then the other leg, then it'll be floating around. Okay, it looks like this 25 volt or this 3300 was replaced. But I don't see, really as I look around, anything else that's been done. I'm pretty familiar with these radios. That doesn't look like a factory crystal. More than likely why it was bleeding. There was getting more bleed over than the normal factory radio. see any butchery two capacitors and a crystal is all I really see and uh, the max mods in there There's Mad Max. It's like the extreme minimal amount of uh, grease, as you can see. Loctite on the screw. Anyways, it doesn't look hacked. And for this, I mean, the smartest thing to do, only if you're lazy, you do stuff like this, and it's, it's like really useless. The smartest thing to do is eliminate all your common mode current, ground loops, and make sure that your RF and your DC potentials are equal. If you have noise in the vehicle, eliminate it, because if you stop it, you're not going to stop it. You're still going to have it in your antenna system. If your counterpoise or if your DC and RF grounds aren't equal, you still have the problem. Eliminate all the other problems first. That's the smart way of doing it to get better performance. All right, uh, I believe your name was Bill. It's not bad. I uh, I do have a crystal I can stick in there. Maybe I'll have to start stocking up on them. It will go back in the box. It did the box did show up okay, by the way. And it's going to be a while. I think you know that. Alright. Now, if you're curious about anything or whatever, just go back in the videos. 
there's much reference okay I hope some of this was educational I hope everybody has a great weekend you know who it is down by the Rio Grande I'm out of here click click